Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Kaylee. Thank you so much for being here. So my New Year's resolution was to do one YouTube video per month and this is my February video. We're gonna do a little sit down, get ready with me, um, do a little bit of like an updated makeup routine type video. Um, kind of just walking you guys through what I use, why I love the products, and everything like that. Um, I will have all of this linked below, but for some reason I always wait until literally the last day of the month to film but you know we're trying to stick to the resolution so you know one thing at a time um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it i already did my brows because i'm in desperate need of a brow lamination and they just take a while to work with whenever i don't have that brow lamination so i already did those but we're gonna get right into some primer i'm gonna go in with this elf power grip primer with niacinamide i love this stuff i feel like it makes my makeup last all day Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this NARS Pot Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna take this and conceal all of my acne. If you watched my last YouTube video, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that like my skin has been going through it. Um, so I just started a new skincare routine with Face Reality, um, or like using Face Reality products. But in the meantime, I'm still gonna just have to conceal these pimples. So I feel like the shade matches my skin pretty well. So I just go add this in on a brush and then I will take my finger and like dab around the concealer just to blend it in a little bit more. I'm going to go right in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade at 2.5. I love this stuff. Whenever I don't wear it, I feel like you can tell. So I feel like it really does make like the biggest difference in like adding just like a little bit of glow um, in my makeup routine. This video is definitely going to be like a more chit chat, get ready with me, updated makeup routine type of thing. Um, again, if you watched my last video, I'm trying to do one YouTube video per month. Um, for some reason, I always wait until literally the last day of the month to film. I'm not sure why, but um, I am just going to walk you guys through everything and just chat about a few things. After that's all blended in, I go in with this It Cosmetics foundation. This is the Your Skin But Better foundation plus skincare. I'm just going to take like one pump of it. I'm just going to put this kind of where I have like a little bit of acne showing. Um, I don't want like super heavy coverage or anything. So, and taking that same dampened beauty sponge and just blending that in. These beauty sponges are like, I think a pack of six for like, I don't know, six, seven, eight dollars on Amazon. And they are absolutely amazing you will never see me buying a beauty blender from sephora again because it's like one for 20 like come on be for all um so i am just loving these i'm gonna go right into some like a bronzer and contour i'm using these dibs beauty duo sticks in the shade 2.5 and 3 here are both of those shades. I really just like to take it on like a blending brush and add a little bit of both of the colors and then blend that into my cheeks. You really could just use like one or the other, but I have both. So I was like, you know, might as well start mixing them. And I really like the little color combo that it gives off. I don't really use that many like powder bronzer products. So I try to pack on like the cream. Um, I really do like the dibs formula. So if you've been looking for like a new cream bronzer. I really love this. Before I get into concealer, I'm taking the other side of those dibs duo sticks. These are the blush shades. They are absolutely gorgeous. I'm just taking a fluffy brush, picking up a little bit of both of the shades on the back of this brush, and then I will go in and add that over that cream bronzer. Like they really are just like so seamless and flawless and the colors are beautiful. If I had to pick one, I think I would definitely pick the shade like 2.5. It's definitely like cooler undertone, like more of a brighter baby or pink. Um, but I do also like to have that like a neutral look as well. So that is why I mix the two. Now I'm going in with my Natasha Denona concealer. This is in the shade N4. This is the best concealer that I have ever used. It is creamy, hydrating, not cakey. It doesn't dry down and like, you know, make your under eyes crease. Um, and I really like the coverage on it. It's not like too full coverage, but it's not, you know, just super sheer. Um, so I will also add this over like my acne and then mainly my under eyes, forehead and chin. I typically let my under eye concealer set a little bit longer and start by blending out like my forehead and chin. I feel like the longer you let your concealer like set and build up, it like makes it a little bit more like fuller coverage maybe. My, you know, logic might be completely wrong, but that's just what I like to do. You know whenever you have a hair 
Now I'm going to go in directly and blend out my under eye. I do blend out one under eye at a time and then I set it immediately. I feel like it helps a lot with creasing. So I will blend out this right side and then I will show you guys how I set it. So that right side is blended out and I'm going to take some Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Cupcake and then I'm going to add it on the back of this little sponge um, or I guess powder puff and then I'm just going to take this and add it right underneath my eyes. I follow, I believe his name is Kevin. He's a makeup artist in Canada. And he was saying that the quicker that you set your concealer, um, the less time it has to dry into like your creases. So it makes for a little bit less of like, you know, creasing and wrinkles under your eye. So I really like this tip. And then gonna do the same on the other side. It really is just such a beautiful concealer. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Taking more of that Huda Beauty setting powder, setting my under eye. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of that setting powder still on that powder puff and just go over like my forehead and chin where I added that other concealer. So with that setting powder, it did take away a little bit of that like blush and bronzer. So I'm going to take that same blush brush and just go right over that and add a little bit more color back to my face. I am a blush girly. So we're going to finish off um, our like cream and liquid blushes with this Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm blush in the shade Pinkgasm. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, put it on my cheeks. Taking that same brush I used to blend out the Dibs blush and just adding this, blending it all in. It is seriously so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Now we're gonna go in with some powdered bronzer. I either use the Too Faced or the Patrick Tall. Today I'm gonna use the Patrick Tall. I use this in the shade She Sculpted. I absolutely love it. I will take this just on like a fluffy brush and then I will add it on my forehead. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't like love powder bronzer. I just feel like it doesn't like work well on my skin, but I do feel like I have to like add in some color. Taking that same bronzer, I'm just going to take a little eyeshadow brush and add a little bit to my eyeballs. Um, I feel like it makes it more cohesive whenever I just have a little bit of this on my eyelids. I don't really like to do eyeshadow for like my everyday look. So adding just like a little bit of this just kind of ties that look all together. Now I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. This is in the shade One Fair. I'm taking that same Beauty Puff and I am just going to add some of this powder. This is the absolute best powder for setting your under eyes. I do like to set my um, concealer with the loose powder first and then take this compact powder. And I really just feel like it helps keep everything like super smooth and seamless. I also like using this Kosas Powder in the shade Breezy. It provides a ton of coverage, so I'm just going to take a little bit on like the tip of that um, beauty puff and add it where I have a little bit of redness still showing through. Gonna finish off setting my face with the Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder. I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush. It's the A22 Morphe by Ariel Collection. And I'm just kind of gonna add that everywhere just to keep my makeup in place. Um, I do work eight to five, and then I also teach Pilates after. So I want my makeup to last literally until 9, 10 p.m. So we're gonna set all of our face. Like I mentioned earlier, I am a blush girly. My blush literally just fell out of this pan. What? Um, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade Ecstasy. I've had this for a while, so this is probably just a sign that I need to go pick up a new one but I just love like the pinky peachy neutral color that it has. So adding this to my cheeks and then finishing off my blush with the Dior blush. This is the pink one. I freaking love this. It went viral on TikTok and I'm so glad it did because it is seriously the best. So this is what we're working with. I'm going to finish off with lips and mascara. I always like taking like a paper towel or something just to wipe off like the makeup that got on my lips. I feel like my lip liner stays so much longer whenever it's not like already on top of something. So I like to wipe my lips clean. Taking this Dibs liner. I don't know the shade, but it's the No Pressure Lip Liner. It is such like a beautiful like rosy neutral color. Finishing off with quite literally the best gloss that there is, the Yet Buxom Gloss in the shade Bellini. 
I'm going to go right in, curl my lashes, and then add my mascara. Not me saying I work eight to five and it's literally 7.56 and I'm still here filming, but I typically work eight to five, but I am just gonna be late today. Going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara. If you wear mascara and you don't get it on your eyelids, tell me how. Mascara is done. Now I'm going to go in with this airbrush flawless setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm going to set my face. Before I'm completely done, I'm going to take this spoolie and get that dried mascara off of my eyelids. All right, you guys, and that is my updated everyday makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me and watching the video. If you made it this far, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will link all the products in the description box below for you guys to shop. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Again, thank you for watching and have the best day.